morning. You're listening to avnewscast.com. Good morning. My mic's not working. It, it, yeah, it's... I'm, I'm plotting them up. Plotting All right. Them up. There All right. we go. All right. Morning, it's a process. Steve. Good morning, yeah. you guys. Good morning. It is a pro- process. Yes, it is. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ah. So how how are you doing? doing? Why do you have that grin on your face all the time? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> he's always got this thing he's thinking of that I know Cheshire I probably. Cat. Yeah. What? Nothing. Nothing. I had a, I had a tiring weekend. Birthday party for my grandson. It had to have been how many kids, Steve? Too many. Too mm-hmm. many kids. Three is my limit. <laughs> yeah, it, it was it was a it was a lot. First birthday party, but it, he had a good time. Yeah, I'm glad he had a good time. Yeah, yeah, it was over the top. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ah. yeah. You had one of those trucks outside. Yeah, we had the game the truck, truck and the game truck. I mean, that's all you really need. If I'd have known better, I would have just game truck, cake right outside the truck, go home. <laughs> I think anything that involves water is a mistake. What? Oh, they had a blast, though. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. Uh, but I'm, I, I'm glad Quentin had a, a You backed time. up quick, though. I, I sure did. I actually left for a few hours, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I most definitely did. Uh, terrible accident in Lancaster um, Saturday night. What? Terrible, terrible accident. Uh, 25th East and Lancaster Boulevard. About 6.30, 6.45 at night. Mm-hmm. Um, a van and a Hyundai Eesh. had a collision. Three people inside the uh, Nissan van were not wearing seat belts. Um, two were ejected. Mm. Two people were taken. One woman was pronounced dead at the scene. Mm. Two were in full cardiac arrest. Of course. Uh, it was terrible. I mean, you know, seat belts are not overrated. They're, they they yeah. really are not overrated. You You do need them. Yeah, you do need them. Yeah, it's, I, I don't understand it. You, you do need them. That was, that was awful. And the accident that happened uh, in Harbor City uh, with the LAPD, uh, with the two officers. No, oh, what happened? Did you hear about that? No. They're following a the car about 345 in the morning. Mm-hmm. Um, car was speeding, and they were following behind it. Camaro. Yeah, Camaro. And the, and the Camaro made a U-turn. Okay. Uh-huh. So LAPD made a U-turn, too, uh-huh. following this car. Uh-huh. As they did that, Another vehicle was speeding through, broadsided. The LAPD? The LAPD car. Um, one officer died. Oh, my God. Uh, Roberto Sanchez, 32, of Santa Ana, which is terrible. And the driver of the, um, the SUV that hit the LAPD vehicle, uh, he fled the scene. Yeah, okay. They caught him. Car. <laughs> yeah. They, they yeah. caught him. <laughs> like, I'm out. They're going to kill me. They're going to kill me today, Mama. I got to run. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of, speaking of deaths and stuff, I, was, I <laughs> dropped my wife off at the um, at the play on Friday night. Uh-huh. And I was driving back with Frank. <laughs> what? No, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I'll get to okay. it. But uh, we're driving down. We took Sierra Highway. Wait and, for it. And... Frank was all, who, who are all those women out there? Oh. And I said, oh, they're, they're probably prostitutes. And who's the guys with them? I said, well, it's probably the pimps. And I had to go into a whole explanation on what all that was. And then we got up to um, Avenue K in Sierra Highway. And there was a ton of people out there. And he's all, those aren't all prostitutes, are they? And I said, I don't, I don't think so, unless they're unionized or something. But then I yeah. realized it was the... Uh, it was a candlelight vigil out there for oh. the person that went out in front of the train. So that's where the death came from. Okay. Oh, where was that? that Across you from took Domino's? a long circle oh. around no, that yeah, block to get no, to that. No, it's Sierra and Oh, Sierra, Sierra and K. K. Yeah. Oh, you were at that one. Yeah. Yeah. And that one. Isn't that something? We have that many that you can say that one? Yes. That's yeah. why I'm telling you they need crossing guards. Yeah, uh, that's I, a lot of money, what? though. That's a lot of money. No, I mean, that's a, that guy committed suicide. Uh, he did. It's, I mean, well, I, I I don't know. The, I don't the, know how you. It, can't it ain't a little that. train. <laughs> I know. You kind of see it coming and you hear it. I don't. I don't know well, how. Short of a short of an H O scale, there is no little train. I mean, yeah, I mean, no. you're good. You're gone. He kind of knew it was coming towards him. Yeah, he could have. Uh, but um, that that was a. Uh... Okay, so when they when they apprehended the guy who hit the police car. What happened? Well, they had to take him to the hospital because he was injured as well. Yeah, he was out. <laughs> um, 
Chief Charlie Beck issued a statement um, Sunday morning, uh-huh. um, stated that they had uh, picked up a person of interest. Mm-hmm. As of this morning, uh-huh. there still have been no arrests, uh-huh. which is interesting. What? He gets um, to flee the th- scene th- and he's th- not arrested? As of this morning, there hadn't been any arrests. And they're trying to figure out If all exactly the swelling can go down first before they put charges on it? Well, it, there were only there's only two people that can really explain really what happened. And one of them is deceased. Yeah. The other one, uh, his jaw is fractured. He, I mean, he was the other officer was really seriously oh, hurt as well. Uh-huh. Um, and then the guy that they picked up. So they're yeah. waiting for to get a statement from the police officer. Which I mean, really, what kind of statement can you? You know, you're you're in the middle of, of you know doing the U-turn and you're broadsided. What do you know outside of that? Yeah, but the whole thing seems a little bit weird because the the, the broadside happened on the driver's side. I I haven't quite put it all, and I I don't think LAPD has put it all together yet. The broadside happened on the driver's side. Yeah, but the car was so badly damaged. So bad, and I saw a picture of it. So badly damaged that the officer that was sitting shotgun, the passenger, um, he could not even use the radio. Mm. Okay, and as badly hurt as he was, he had to get his cell phone out to oh. be able to call for help. You know, so okay. I mean, it's crazy because I just assumed it was the passenger that died. Yeah, because no. you really don't hear of the driver die, dr- dying in the broadside. I don't know. That's, that's weird. This is the second time, it, the one just two months ago in Beverly Hills. Same a kind driver of thing. died, you know, LAPD driver died again. Mm. That was one of the try. Yeah, so it was. And so uh, the car that they were after got away? Yeah, the car that they were after got away. They're still looking for that. Vehicle, oh, yeah, they are. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're pulling uh, outside surveillance footage to try to figure that out. That car has been pulled apart. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah that car is so yeah. gone. Yeah, just like my white car. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And we'll, we'll leave that alone. Um, up in Sacramento, uh, Steve Fox, <clears throat> Assemblyman Steve Fox, mm-hmm. introduced a bill. It's uh, AB 1513. Okay. It deters squatters from being able to squat in your home. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, you would think, hey, wait, wait a minute. That's a, a, guy, yeah. a guy goes in my house. That's trespassing. I can get him out, right? No, mm-hmm. it doesn't happen that, that way. Huh. Well, what was happening before? Well, here's the thing. If you have a, a, a vacant home and it's vacant and somebody moves in there, you can't just say, hey, get out. Call the police and say, hey, get them out. What? You have to evict them. What? Yeah. That's, and if they're receiving that's mail a, that's at that residence California already. California crazy stuff. Yeah. It doesn't go like that in New York. Best believe you're getting out. Yeah. And it, they don't even wait. I mean, evictions in New York are no joke. They come move all your stuff to the curb. When you come home that day, you might have a frying pan left because everyone has taken all your belongings. They just put it out. They just put it on on the street. Yeah, they do that in, in a lot of states. Yeah, and they I mean, as they out. let you know, you're evicted, yeah. so you need to leave. Yeah. No, California, we handle it differently. That's so, crazy. And there is no state law uh, on the books that provides local government or local law enforcement with any tools to get the squatters out. Correct. And then kick them out. Now, I've always had a theory about this law, and I think that anybody that's married, if they don't make love to their spouse after, like, a year, then you buy laws that she can go off and be with somebody else legally. Without, you know... <laughs> really? You're applying it that way? <laughs> You're a crack-up, Michael. I think they should work that into the curriculum. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I mean, you gotta understand, I'm a married guy, so don't buy it. Yeah, no, I get you. I get you. You'll be Steve. You got a girlfriend now. Yeah. Uh oh. Are you getting married again? Uh, Am I what? Are you getting married again? Uh, uh, Michael, your phone's breaking up. I don't know yet, (laughs) Michael. Can't hear. There's there's a there's a difference to like what happens though. You're marrying a woman. That has already been married. Yeah, and so and, and so that's a safer thing. 
you see, there's another saying to that, guys, and I'll go on this note. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. Which oh. means if you married a woman that's never been married before, she doesn't know how good or bad things are. Yeah. Right. And, and it's a lot better when you're older as well. That's for sure. What's that? It's a lot better when you're older as well and, and, and you know, as you both know married. what's going on. As far as getting yeah. married, yeah. yeah. I think so. It, it is but a lot don't better. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> you are funny, Michael. I hope is Miriam listening right now. <laughs> no, Michael's deleted the speaker app. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm just living the dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah, I, I was going to ask you why you started uh, to come on with that analogy about the one-year thing, but, but yeah. you're happy. Yeah. It's all good with you. Hey. Yeah, sure. They had a cute, they had co- it, for comic relief, they had a cue that song by Barry Manilow, Looks Like We Made It. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. No, well. I'm good. I'm good. I, hey, look, you know, you know, we should just have one show to talk about relationships and marriage because that's an exciting subject. But I, I'm all for it. I would... Don't, you know, and you really can't participate. No, yeah. I want I want the tips. <laughs> what you say? I want the tips. There you go. On relationships. Yeah. You gotta get back in the game. Are you in a relationship? No. No. Oh well, you gotta get back in the game. You, you don't have to, to say the stereo. So so one no was enough. I, I I know she's got to dust that thing off, but it, it's oh. it's. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Get one of them Swiffer, Swiffer things. You clean the uh, ceiling plane. <laughs> I, I got one. I can loan it to you. <laughs> Woody Allen says there's two types of people in life: the miserable and the horrible. See, when you're not in a relationship, it's you're, it's horrible. But when you're in a relationship, you're miserable. So you should wish to be miserable instead of horrible. Okay, I'll take whatever. I think I think I'll. Well, I you know I think I'll be happy. If I was. Yeah. You know, guys, here's an encouraging note. I was watching a documentary on Einstein last night, and Einstein, he created the theory of relatively, general relatively, relativity, and he, you know, created E M equals MC squared, energy equals matter, and all that. And he won the Nobel Peace Prize and all, and all this stuff. And you know what? He ended up getting a divorce. And even he couldn't figure this stuff out, mm-hmm. which is which is an encouraging note. True. And he, the interesting thing is, he wrote out a list just before he got divorced. He wrote out a list of what his wife, what he wanted her to do in order to make the marriage work, and that was oh, what he wanted her to do. Don't, oh. don't talk. Don't talk to him unless he wants to be talked to. Oh. <laughs> don't don't expect sex of him unless he's ready to have it. Okay. Um. And basically, there was like a long list. You know, basically, he figured out equations for in his, in his world. So he figured he could create an equation to what makes him happy, regardless of how, you know, what made her happy. Oh, well, that's not right. No. But he did promise the, the winnings from the Nobel uh, Peace Prize, which, uh, which basically, um, you know, set off for life afterwards. He didn't get a penny of that. He all gave to her in the, in the divorce agreement. Huh. I, I saw oh, a post. Yeah, that was a good man. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a post the other day on Facebook, and it said, um, "How to keep a man happy." Yes, I saw okay. that. Okay. Did you see that? Yeah. And, and there were like four or five little bullet points, yeah. right? And then how to keep a woman happy. Yeah. And, and it was like a Tolstoy novel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> it yeah. was. It was yeah. so long. Yeah, it was. But you got I, the list. I, I posted that to my Facebook page. Yeah. 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 That, that's where I saw that's it. That's where I saw yeah. it. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, see? And Miriam, Miriam saw it. And, and what'd she say? I, she didn't say anything. <laughs> I, I, I she should have said, it, Michael, you got the list yeah, now. I, I got the list. Mike, you know what? I, I can... Who's the list? Everybody, everybody like, you know, there's three different types of men in the world. You know, a guy, there's three different types of men. But there are literally 75 different types of women in the world. Yeah. Oof. Don't you love it? You know what I mean? Most guys will usually say the same thing. Yeah, that'll make me happy. It's great. Every woman's like, no, I like it large, I like it small, I like it this, I like it that, I like it that, I like it small, I like it this. You know, there's so many different types of things that women 
that there are different variations of women. That's really yep. hard not to crack no pun intended. <laughs> yep. Yep. Guys, I'm going to let you go. All Thanks, right. Michael. I'm going to call you out. Have fun. Okay, Thanks, Michael. Bye. Bye-bye. He's a funny guy. He I'll he tell you. He cracks me up. Yeah. But I'm living the dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's a funny, funny guy. Um, today, today, Amazon and Google uh-huh. are announcing their same-day delivery in Los Angeles. Oh, Ooh. do you know that oh. you can order? You can go. You can order stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, from I want to go order now. From a number. <laughs> okay, from a we bunch, should have ordered you know like what, right uh, now and saw um, you know at the I top of the up. hour. Okay, and, and this is what's really cool, but check this out. You can go to Walgreens, Toys R Us, Target, Smart and Final, Staples, Costco, Guitar Center, oh. order from and hundreds of other stores. And you'll have it, if you order by 4 o'clock today, oh. it will be at your house by 9 o'clock tonight. Wow. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. They're rolling Target, out little helicopter Target things. Target is on there? Target is on there, too. And Walmart? And, no, I didn't say Walmart. No, okay. Uh-uh. Toys R Us. Oh. Okay. It's over. Walgreens. You should never oh, There's a me. lot of stores, okay? Um, and, and to find out exactly what stores are there, um, you go to uh, google.com slash uh, shop express. Uh, and and all the stores Google are there. And you click okay? on shop. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and this is great. Mm-hmm. And they're rolling out a whole, all their own trucks. They're all wrapped. Ooh. Okay. It's very cool. It's sexy. It is. It For is. somebody like you? Yeah. Yeah, it, it puts you right in the poorhouse. Oh. So fast. Just a little faster. So, yeah. I want it now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is going to be great. Then there, And it's, it's rolling out today. It's in Culver City, Inglewood, Marina del Rey, Santa Monica, Venice, West L.A., and Westwood. Oh, those are the areas? So those I are the areas. So I can't do it here. No, you can't do it here yet. Ugh. Then they're going to expand and go to Bel Air, Beverly Hills, Pacific Palisades, because now they want the money. Uh, Playa del Rey, Playa Vista, and West Hollywood. Then they will slowly start expanding it out yes. to try to cover the entire state. Yes. But this is very cool. That's hot. You know, isn't it? Isn't it cool? Yep. It yeah. Is. So Target is on the list. Um, but here's something interesting. This morning uh, at 5:30 in the morning, New York time, mm-hmm. Target fired their chairman, president, and yes. CEO. Yeah. Okay. Fired him. Yeah. Wait, I thought he resigned. He was forced out. Okay. Okay? He was forced out. Um, had been with the company for about 28 years. This is all because of the data breach. That's that's huge. Because this happened under his watch. Yeah, that's okay? huge. It should have happened over what I uh, took a picture of in Target the other day. <laughs> what was it? Oh. What was that? Wait, what was that? That... They had it. I was walking through. I was looking for electronic stuff, but I made my way by the DVDs, and they had the comedy section, and they had Schindler's List in there. Oh. I thought that was Best Buy. No, that was uh, Target. Oh, it was. That's and it, crazy. it it wasn't just a fluke. It wasn't like some jerk walked along Stop it. and stuck it up there. The tag was there. Stop. The tag was there. <laughs> what? Yes. Well. What kind of craziness is that? I, I can't think of anything less funny than Schindler's List. Oh, my God. It makes me want to throw up every time I, I watch it. I watched a double feature. I watched Schind- Schindler's List and Philadelphia. Oh. I could barely yeah. drive home. Did they have, did they have razor blades at That's the concession crazy. stand so you could just it slid open it. your yeah. I was like, why do I live? It was oh. just terrible. I'll tell you a funny uh, Schindler's List. Mm-hmm. Um, a that, funny story about that? Well, it's not funny, but um, <laughs> Schindler's List, uh, before it went to Spielberg, Mm-hmm. Um, sat on my ex father in law's coffee table for ten years. Wow! Why? He owned it. Oh! He hmm. owned the rights to it, and it he couldn't get it made. Um. Think about that. Um, the no, Target data yeah. breach. That's horrible. How bad was it? <clears throat> I'll tell you how, how bad it was. Okay. Target just reported their fourth quarter profits down forty six percent. Ooh, that's why he had to go. That's why he had to go. 46%. Also, I I didn't know. I remember the original data breach on the 19th of December, Mm -hmm. okay, that uh, compromised 40 million credit cards, Mm -hmm. all right? Then there was another one on um, January 10th, and the second one is when they went in and stole all the passwords. I didn't know that it happened that way. 
I mean, they, they were Names, good. addresses, passwords, they everything. <coughs> um, Target, you know, they have their own credit cards. Mm -hmm. They're canceling all the cards. Wow. They're rolling out new cards manufactured by MasterCard. Every credit card's going to be chipped. They'll yep. be the first large retailer in America using chipped uh, credit cards. Well, they can't afford to do anything less than that. Right, right. They, they need to come, you know, they need to go big on, um, on fixing that. On yeah. fixing that mess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can't tell you how many times after it happened that I went to Target and I was like, okay, where's my card? And I was like, wait, 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 cancel, cancel, wait, did you put it in? Take it out. I don't want my stuff in you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've said that before. It, oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, nah, I didn't say that. Wow. Here we go. <laughs> Dish Network. Okay. Um, last week, I bet you guys don't even know this, but last week, uh, there's a Senate bill. It's SB 1005. They all sound like STDs. Okay. No, well, and tell me about this, okay? Because you're very much in favor of Here we go. Obamacare. Here we go. Before the, the show, Care Act? before the show, I even mentioned the word Obamacare. You got very you used, mad. Use it as a tag. There's a lot of people out there that don't even know about Affordable Care Act. Yes. Okay. They only refer to it as, all right, um, up in the Senate, Senate Bill 1005 mm -hmm. would provide health mm -hmm. insurance under California Care mm -hmm. and the Affordable Care Act mm -hmm. to illegal immigrants. Oh in California. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think about that? Well, I think it's very interesting. I think that we need to do something because the bottom line is when, they're, when their diabetes have hit the all-time high or if they stroke out or if an ambulance is called, no one's checking for insurance. They're just taking those people into the hospital and we're caring for them. Mm -hmm. So the reality is that we care for them one way or the other. So I don't know if that's a horrible thing, but I, but I, I still think that we need to give these people citizenship and we need to let them enjoy the taxes that we enjoy because it doesn't make any sense for them to be able to have all these benefits and yet don't give back at all. Well, we need to make the right to citizenship uh, obtainable, okay? Yeah, like and now. Ha and ha yeah, but it's not, a, it's not an overnight process. Yeah, but, okay? but the problem is... But it shouldn't take 20 years either. It shouldn't. And the benefits are rolling out regardless. Because these kids are in school, public school. Now, maybe they're not getting, maybe they can't go into college, which is weird to me because I don't know how you can go to public school. How, how, do you, how can you go to public school with, and your birth certificate says that you were born in another country? It doesn't make any sense to me. The California Constitution. It's not only California. I understand. But here in California, <laughs> I can only talk about okay. California. In California, uh, it is a law. Okay, and every child in the state, born here or not, mm -hmm. okay, must go to school. That's, and they must provide an education. Of the and people. I get that. I get that. Which makes so, sense. So they can go to school and be illegal. You can rent them an apartment. You can employ them under the table. You can, you know, have a di diabetic uh, coma and go into the hospital and get treated. It, it's ass backwards. It... I, it Illegal immigration in California um, costs about $53 billion a year. I mean, but it's, yeah, okay, you're talking I, about I California. I have an idea. Uh-oh. I was thinking over the week, and I don't think this is a horrible idea. Okay, go ahead. We look at all the money that we spend propping up and reforming governments in, like, Iraq and Afghanistan and all over the world doing stuff. Why can't we go and help out in Mexico and try to help them straighten their government out, go down to Guatemala and try to help them. They have natural resources, they're just amazing, untapped natural resources, but the government's just so messed up. Why don't we go and help them in their countries, make their government, reform their government, fix it so it works for the people, and make it so they don't really have a need to come here? Why how, do we spend the money about, halfway across the earth doing that? Why don't we go in our own backyard and help the people out? Yeah, here how about if we help our own people out? How about if we well, deal well, with well, the yeah, stuff absolutely. in our own backyard? Yeah, but I mean, I mean, help clear. Their, the only reason they're coming over here is because their government's a corrupt, horrible mess. And they can't make a living there. But they've got natural resources. But there's plenty of people in work. those countries that make a living there. I think yeah, that we I mean, need to stop believing the hype. 
I think that some people come to America because they want this kind of living, but these countries can't be that horrific because people are, are, start, are thriving there. People are making great living. I mean, they, there's, there's, there's movies. That, I mean, people are living in these countries. Yeah, I went there, to Costa Rica. It was beautiful. There's, there's two classes. There's two classes, though, and that's got to be. I get stuck. it. I get it. But we need to stop mining other people's business and mine our own. Well, it, it is it is affecting us, though. But if we change the way we deal with people here, but why, if we can if we can make it to where their their home is a place they want to stay, instead of I don't think dealing people, with all I these people that hate us anyway halfway around the world, if we can make their home a place so where they want to stay, they can prosper. So they'll be hating us locally. They'll be hating us locally. People don't why, want us minding their business. They're, they're, if they're prospering, they're not going to be hating us. I, I think that people don't want us minding their business. That's part of America's uh, reputation is that we're always trying to mind somebody else's business. Okay. And only the business that we want to mind. Because, mind you, I saw on CNN today, it happened <clears throat> 15 days ago in Nigeria. They kidnapped 223 girls in Nigeria yes. because they don't want... Uh, to afford these girls education they kidnapped them and let and pulled them out of the country and we're hearing about it today plane go plane goes into the twilight zone and we heard about that from minute one and we're still hearing about it 15 days ago 223 kids kids are kidnapped we're not doing nothing about it and we just now hear about it I didn't hear and anything that's about it. Uh, yeah, that, did. and that's why I say you can't always listen to just American news because there's an agenda behind it. I agree with you. What? There, there is an Stop agenda the behind it. It's nope. gonna, the, world, the world's going to come to an end. No, you're right. There is an agenda behind it. Mm -hmm. Okay? I, I absolutely agree. Um, but backing up just a minute, though. There's about 3 million illegal immigrants in California. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. Do we want to afford them the right to get health insur insurance under ACA? I don't know. My, my response to that would be if they want to go to the hospital right now, we're affording them something free right now. If they have a broken leg, Steve, they can right. go to any county facility and get treated for free. Right. So, so there's no shift, difference. So by doing this, will it shift the financial burden and the responsibility from one to somebody else? I think the theory is that if they have insurance, we won't be dealing with crisis situations. And maybe the diabetic coma won't be what we deal with. Maybe we'll be dealing with it before that or before the heart attack or before the stroke. Because, you know, the price tag won't be as high. I, I'm, I'm thinking that the theory is. Will this also help identify the people that really want to become citizens? No. I, I mean, I, honestly, maybe. there's no way that I would go get a driver's license as an illegal citizen or the health insurance, because you're putting a big old tag on your head. I'm illegal. But Come also, get me. This is where I live. But you're also, you know, getting off the bench and saying, hey, I want to do what I have to do, okay, to get a pathway to citizenship. So oh, I, I if I you. can get a driver's license, if I can get health insurance, if I can pay for these things. If they can okay, pay for it. I, I want to do this stuff. Yeah I, yeah, I think that we're throwing the cart before the, what is the saying? Horse. 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 Yeah, and I think that we should first say, listen, if you've been here six years, if you've been here five years, um, and, and there's no significant issues that you're causing havoc to the community, then let's let, let you sign here. You're a citizen. Let's tax them. Why do I have to be, why do we only have to be the ones that are stressed out on April 15th? And it'll be a deterrent if you're in if you're in another country and you're like I can go there and get on all kinds of social you know uh, support systems and I don't have to pay anything. Why not come? If you change that to where you're paying just like everybody else, maybe it'll be a deterrent. Right. Um, it's difficult to tax someone that's in the country illegally when they don't have a social security number. Give it they, to them. They can't. You can't give it to them. Why? Because they, then they're then they're an American citizen. Give it to them. You can't Stop do acting overnight. like this land. It, it, I mean, it's it's land that God created. I'm just. I'm not trying to go deep Understood. into it. Understood. But let's just be real about it. Understood. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, we fought for it and we carved out the area that's ours. Okay, I get it. But bottom line is that there are people. They they can be productive. You can tax them. So let it be. <laughs> just let it be. 
Okay. Legalize yeah. them and, and take their money. Then they're eligible for all kinds of state, county, and federal benefits. Yeah, which they get anyway. Okay. Well, what do you mean, they, they get anyway? They get anyway. If, like I said, if you get sick, you go to the hospital, you're taken care of. But you don't get uh, welfare. You don't get food stamps. But but we're full of shit, the country. Can you do that? I, I did it already. We're full of something that's not good because there's no law that says you can't rent to an illegal alien, and you should. Right. There, there should be a law. There if are slum lords that only want to do that. Right, and I mean, if you want to be real about it, you should not be able to rent to them. You're not supposed to employ them, yet you go to Beverly Hills and you, you're tripping over them. Uh, they're raising all your kids. I mean, it, it, it's just, it, you know, it's, it's not right. And we're full of crap. Eight months, ago, eight months ago, the California Supreme Court said, hey, if you are an illegal alien in California, an illegal immigrant, and you have gone to college and you got your law degree, you are now allowed to practice law. You mm -hmm. can go into a court. Now, you're yeah. not in the country legally. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. yeah. But you can legally go into this courtroom. Yeah. Okay? And fight to uphold the constitutional laws in the state of California. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I don't understand that part. Because it doesn't make sense. How do you give someone insurance that's not in the country legally? Because they'll carve it out, baby. They'll carve it out. Just like they did for that guy? Mm -hmm. uh, for that, okay. Um, well, they're not worried about that because it's not going to be that many people that actually can pay mm -hmm. cash for their education. Because there's no, you know, there's no grants, there's no loans, there's no nothing. These people that are coming here and are getting their law degree, they're paying for that, and that's huge. So maybe there's five in the country. <laughs> yeah. Right? Well, right. Okay. Um, yeah, I have a problem with it. On one hand, I say, hey, you know what? If they want to step off the bench and say, hey, I, I, want, I need health insurance, I don't want to be a burden. I don't want to just go to county USC or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay into it. Um, on one hand, I think that's great. Yeah. But on the other hand, well, wait a minute, but you're not supposed to be here anyway. Right. So how do you even get this? Right. Because we're backwards. Okay. It's your, I, I will say one thing. My what? Your president. Okay. Your president too, Steve is, Benson. Yes, he Are you an American? I am. So just, Proud I mean, it. it's seven years already. He's your president. <laughs> right. <laughs> I had to deal with Bushes Only being my two president. Two more years. I had to two deal with years. Bushes, four of them. Yep. Four times, four of them. It felt like okay. four. Three times. Three times, yeah. Yeah. Bush, I had to deal with Bush. Was Bush my, was my I president. I don't claim Bush. The one thing Obama has done is he has de deported more illegal immigrants than the Obama's last done ten a lot presidents of all put together. O Obama has done a lot okay. of things. Don't don't sleep. I'm not sleeping. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. Well, the one thing he did do. He, he did a lot. He he's, got he's done a lot. Osama bin Laden. Yeah, he sure he, did. And, he your, reduced, and your Bush couldn't get he him. He did? He, what? What do you he mean? Did? Yeah, he, he went over he there with it? his AR-15 himself. Yeah. Um, oh, so now he, he doesn't get credit for it? It happened under he, his watch. Oh, okay. So that, but, but, um, but Benghazi's what? his fault. It was that red-headed girl that was... In uh, Zero Dark Thirty, that's the one yeah. responsible. <laughs> that's her. That's who I give the credit to. Okay, but Benghazi's his fault. Well, that's under his watch. You gotta, well, you gotta no, pick. Benghazi, you gotta pick what you want to do. What now. happened in gotta... Benghazi wasn't his fault. Oh. What he did afterwards to try to deflect. But that's an assumption. Was... You're just assuming. I'm not assuming. There's emails. More and more. Come on now. Day. I mean, you know how you can make an email look like it uh, came from somewhere. Stop just like it. Just like a birth certificate, you can. Oh. There you go. So no, you walked didn't. me right into that. I did, didn't I? Um, <laughs> Lee Rogers, who, who's running for Congress here, um, posted something the other day, and he said uh, the economy is is undergoing a sluggish recovery. Obamacare needs a little bit of a fixing. Three hundred thousand vets. Uh, are on an endless waiting list for, for benefits and can't yeah. get any. Why are the Republicans and Tony Strickland's buddy, Daryl Issa, all still talking about Benghazi emails? When they should be fixing other things. I don't know. Well, Tony Strickland has said that she, he wants to repeal Obamacare. And I'm like, repeal it to what? I mean, I just want to keep just saying. Just strip it. 
to, to, to nothing, go back to what we had before? To zero. And so you've got to believe if a Republican gets in the White House, okay, oh, the GOP wants that. that done. Oh, I know. Okay. But, but I just want to remind everybody, do you recall, as a woman, if I had breast cancer, an insurance company could say to me, I'm not covering your female parts. We because could fix you, that without... All the rest of it, though. No, why don't you fix this? If you think that it's so bad, then fix it. Because the bottom line is that we all need health and in- health insurance. That's the bottom line. And the bottom line is that the governments should not be taxing the burden of all of the health insurance. We should be responsible enough to pay for it. That's the bottom line. Okay. I mean, we just talked about that with illegal aliens. So, I mean, and, and it's a need. It's a need. We need to take care of that. Just to strip it and say, okay, it's all done. If you got the money to go to the doctor, have the money to go to the doctor. If you don't, then you don't. You just die, your cancer, whatever. That's not being responsible. Well, and that's not representing all the people. If you're going to represent all the people, recognize where all the people are coming from. And do something that can benefit all of them. That's part of the problem that the GOP has right now. Because they can't figure it out. In their own identity problem. Yep. In that whole thing. And that could be the very reason why a Republican may not get into the White House in the next election. Yeah, because they, they okay. need to just, like, have a meeting. They need to figure something out. Um, they, they had uh, – Saturday night was the uh, – the hundredth anniversary uh, in Washington of the correspondence dinner. Mm-hmm. Okay, hundredth anniversary. I didn't know they've been doing this this long. Um, so President Obama gets up and and he has to make some jokes. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, he talked about uh, House Speaker Boehner, mm-hmm. who you know is very tan. <laughs> okay, and he George says George Hamilton. Yeah, and he he says uh, Boehner is the perfect example that orange is the new black. Yeah, that was okay? funny. Uh, and then he said, uh, nice. the dinner will be over very quickly, about as as quick as uh, Governor Christie's bid for president. Hello. Wow. Yeah. Because it's over. Yeah. yeah. And and he said to Governor Christie, uh, you better just buckle up your seatbelt because I got a lot more of those jokes and put on that extender part, too. Oh. <laughs> he didn't on. say that, did he? Yeah, he did. Oh. Yeah, he did. Oh. Wow. He went hard on him. Yeah, he did. He He really did. I was looking this morning at... A graph um, that was done by Associated Press on the changing Here views. Here we go. No, it's not a poll. Okay. <laughs> the changing views um, across America when it comes to marijuana. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, it was actually kind of interesting because 1970, 1971, 1972, 80% of America was against marijuana and 20% were in favor. Uh-huh. All right? Mm-hmm. That was, say, 72 jump up to 92 and it's down to 70 percent 70 percent was opposed 70 percent was in, opposed. in 92 in 92 oh they were lying and 30 percent okay were in favor jump to 2010 51 percent 51 percent are still opposed opposed 49 percent in favor i don't i don't even get it that's across all of america Fifty-one hmm. percent of people still don't want marijuana. Right. I mean, do they realize they're not asking you if you smoke it? <laughs> <laughs> they're not asking you if you eat it. I mean, some in some cases, it's life or death for children with cancer. Um, you know, I mean, it, it's it's. But instead, for those for those people, they should have it. Well, they should just just open it up. It's not killing nobody. Drug, drug, drunk drivers are worse than weed. You're lazy when you're smoking weed. Yeah, I, I, I agree. You get drunk your munchies before you smoke your weed, so you can go home and you don't have to go back <laughs> out. <laughs> I mean, it, it's just a, it's just common sense. Just but if they make it legal, what does that do to the billions and billions and hundreds of billions of dollars that we're spending on the war against drugs on the border? Stop well, that's it. crack. And cocaine. What about the marijuana that's coming in? Well, it stops it. It's, yeah, I mean, it, it shuts it down. We don't have to spend. It shuts it down. Kills, hamstrings the. But uh, then can can that cartels. come in for free? No. I mean, can that come in? Tax. It's called customs, and you have you we know you up own. that rate. You know Grow the percentage own. that you pay for for. So now your, the cartels can actually ship marijuana here. If you want to can tax it. If you want to no, accept grow it this. here. Yeah, you can grow it here. Like up in Humboldt. Yeah, yeah. look at all the Abadac tarps you can sell. 
Right. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> huh? All the mesh. Well, yeah. like the girl I was talking to in Humboldt that, that needed a giant 100 by 100 foot tarp. I was thinking about okay. that all weekend long. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and did you guys go to Google Earth? Have you no, been there? I didn't no, know. To look I haven't yet. Every piece of property, everyone's backyard. I don't want to see everybody. Bigfoot. I can't look up there. You know, everybody's got this tarped area because yeah. they're all growing marijuana. Get it done. And I mean, they don't California want wouldn't have any tax issues. These states that have problems with funding education and such, funding the excesses of, uh, of health insurance, no more problem after uh -huh. legalizing it. Tax. No more problem. Tax, since you brought up tax? Mm -hmm. No. California film tax. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're talking about expanding it, but they're saying, you know what? If we expand it to match Florida, if we expand it to match New York, Georgia, no, forget L it. Louisiana. Why are we here? If we do that, we're not going to have any return on our investment because nobody wants to make a movie in California. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they don't want to, and we're going to end up losing money. <clears throat> This is, this is what the most recent uh, legislative analyst office report that came out last week said. Mm -hmm. Also, last year, for 2012 through 2013, of the 41 feature-length movies that were made for the whole year, mm -hmm. only two were shot in California. Wow, really? Yeah. Oh. Only two. Wow. California is home to a lot of commercials and a lot of television. Yeah. But not feature films. Yeah, that's, we, I took the Warner Brothers tour, and I didn't see any movie stuff that going on there. A lot of television shows, but mm -hmm. Big Bang Theory and all that. But It's too expensive. Nothing. It's absolutely too expensive. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, the flip side about it is that um, the country is really beautiful. You know, like I was watching a Lifetime movie yesterday, and it was shot in Washington State, and it was beautiful. Yeah. And I would never get to see that if, if, if California had the monopoly on making films here at 24, then you would never see the country. Well, because we used to. Hmm? We used to, and the films were beautiful then. Yeah, but it was always California palm trees. Well, okay, Between I'm just saying that. They shot that in Spokane. It was, it was palm trees or the streets of New York. Hmm. Now at least you see different states. So, I mean, I, I, I get that, and I, I get that California is losing a lot of m money. Mm -hmm. Um. But I'm I'm seeing countryside that I never saw before, that I never even thought that I'd be interested to go see. And now I'm like, Washington's beautiful. I want to go. Right. State. Hope you like rain. California let this get out of control. Yeah. They could have dealt with it. Well, you should have called your homie because okay. didn't he help with that? Schwarzenegger right. could have dealt with this. Mm -hmm. But he didn't. Okay. He but was this busy. Th this was dipping. going on way before him, too. <laughs> he was dipping. Okay. Busy dipping. But uh, And now it's it's to the point where studios... Independence, they don't even want to make a film in California. It's too expensive for a lot of different reasons. Yeah. And to qualify to get your money back, there is a process. And you've got to be part of the good old boy network in order to qualify for that. I always think of the Klan when Which you say is, that. I, I just hate the term good old boy network. Well, you, but it is. And, and that's, that's what uh, Senator Ron Calderon, who's now been in, indicted. Oh, uh, that's yeah. one of the yeah. reasons he was indicted um, for promising to open it up in and steer it a certain way for certain people. Um, didn't work out too well. No, it didn't work out too well at all. Uh, Governor Jerry Brown was asked on Friday uh, what he thought about Toyota leaving California, mm -hmm. and could he have stopped it? And what did he say? You know what? He really doesn't care. Stop no. it. He really... He, no, you know I what? said, what did he say? He really doesn't care. Could he have stopped it? No, he couldn't have stopped it. But what did he they say? Were uh, he just said, he said, no, oh, okay. I could not have stopped it. They were dead set against leaving California. Mm -hmm. Let them go. We've got a $3 trillion economy here in California. Oh. Okay. Let them go. It doesn't make any difference. Wow. We're still going to be doing good. But to Jerry Brown, California's economy is all about Silicon Valley. Wow. That's what it's really all about. So Mr. Brown is just. He doesn't care. Let him go. Mm. That's terrible. He was very mad about the LA Times article, though. Mm -hmm. and, and it's interesting because it shows you how much power some of the media has. The LA Times, even though it is a newspaper, you know, published on paper, but also online, uh, when somebody says something, mm -hmm. it a lot of people take it from 
your heart. Yeah, yeah, of okay. course. And he didn't like that. He didn't like what they had to say. But he said that the article was spot on. Absolutely. That Toyota was leaving, and that's just the way it goes. And he Why don't care. he wasn't notified of it before the LA Times wrote about it, he has concerns about that. Why should he be okay. notified? Toyota didn't even sit down so what? with California and say, hey. And, and you know what Toy Toyota's saying? He didn't sit down with me. Right. Toyota says it, it was part of their corporate culture. They were having a problem. The problem was they're making trucks in Texas. They're making trucks in, in Ohio. They're making vehicles in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a certain lifestyle to all those places. Yes. All right? And then here they are in Torrance, close to the beach, and everybody is saying, wait a minute, you know, you guys have got it the much better than we've yeah, got yeah, yeah. it, okay? Yeah. And you're more expensive. Yeah, and yeah. and they said their corporate culture, it, it was starting to suffer, mm -hmm. okay? And people weren't liking it. Yeah, because, you know, you're doing customer service overlooking the beach. Yeah, you so know? they said, we got to make a change. Yeah. So they made Everybody got to slum it. So everyone's going to be the same, yes. okay? Yeah. We're moving to Plano, Texas. Lord. Okay? Not Dallas proper, Lord. but we'll be outside in Plano, Texas. But you know what? When they're making so many vehicles in Texas, just get the customer service sense. not to be in Texas. Why? I, I mean, I, I've talked to some of the. It's just, it's just crazy. Uh, they could be listening right now. Okay. <laughs> right this very second. So we better uh, switch gears on that. Donald Sterling. Yeah. So we we know we all know that the Clippers. Got it all together. Mm -hmm. They came back. They forced a game seven, and they won, which is great. Um, Donald Sterling over the weekend, you know, made one public statement. What did he say? Saying he should have just paid her off. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He should have yeah. just paid her off. <laughs> yeah. Um, however, he also says he is going to go down swinging. He is going to fight this. Oh, of course he is because he's gonna too There's going to be arrogant. no question about it. Yeah. Um, L.A. Mayor Garcetti was asked over the weekend what his thoughts were and he said you know i spoke to mr sterling the other day and okay. he doesn't get it he doesn't understand that the comments that he made mm -hmm. he doesn't even understand they were so wrong uh-huh okay and, uh, haven't i been telling you guys that he he just he doesn't get it that's okay. why i keep telling you that we need to talk about it we need to stop. I mean, I get that everybody wants to sanction these guys, but all it does is make them go underground deeper and deeper That's it. instead of educating them. And if you can't get through to the Sterlings, maybe you can get through to their kids because it's just the same toxin that they're spitting out to their kids. Now, his wife went to game seven. Yeah, well, because she okay. can. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I doubt that she's really a basketball she fan. She don't care. Okay. She's like, I can go. Right. And yeah. she went to yeah. show the family had a presence there. Whatever. Okay? Yeah. She she was there. Um, Mayor Garcetti said that he will do everything in he his power. He doesn't get it. That's funny. No, he said he doesn't get it. Yeah, I spoke to him. What's he, the problem? He, no remorse. Doesn't understand no. it. Doesn't get it. No. Um, the, uh, the NBA. Live's coming over next week. Yeah. yeah. The, the, <laughs> the, the NBA uh, said they are going to appoint a CEO. Oh, wow. Okay? They're going to force feed a CEO on the Clippers. They're going to appoint it. He's going to be a fireman on a train. How much information is he going to get? Yeah, okay. that's not too much. Be nothing nice. Not too much. Yeah. Um, Mayor Garcetti said that the city of L.A. will do everything in their power to make certain that he sells the team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was asked by a reporter from the L.A. Times, what about boycotting the games? You made a comment Woo! a week ago. You made a comment that you would move to do that. And he said if he has to, he will, he will ask the citizens of Los Angeles to boycott the Clippers. Wow. Uh, that's gonna, that kills economy. Why do that? Oh, who's going to follow that? Okay. Who's going to go there, along No, there's going to be a ton of people that follow that. There, there will be a lot of people there will that are going to follow well, that. The, why doesn't he just sell? He, he, he bought well, them because he doesn't he care bought, now. He bought them for $12, 12 million. Right. And now they're talking about a billion dollars. Just cash in and because he doesn't because he's arrogant. He's arrogant, and and you can't make me do what I don't want to do. So that's why he's he's gonna he's gonna go down fighting. And if if California ends up having to boycott this team, that's what they're gonna do. Well, um, they should just create another team and buy all the players out. 
change the Clippers a whole new name? Mm -hmm. He's not going to just lay down and say, okay, write me a check. And I already heard that his wife is like, well, I can own it. You know, kick him out. She can own it. Mm -hmm. That's true. But who wants her to own it? Well, that's the whole thing. You know how many best friends she got right now? None or a lot. She's got a lot. <laughs> a lot. She's got a lot, yeah. A She's lot of a best lot. friends. Yeah. Well, right after uh, Adam Silver, uh, head of the NBA, said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to ban him for life. We're going to da 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 um, Immediately after that, Adidas, Samsung, and Red Bull came back and said, okay, we're back. Hmm. Mm-hmm. We're back. They're the only three so far out of 20. They came back because the, of the ban. Yeah. They're the only three so far that have come back. Uh-huh. All right. Well, it's all about the money, though. It is all about the money, yeah. okay? And to to be back, especially for that Game 7, mm-hmm. and have that Red Bull, you know, and have those ads, that was really important. Yeah. That was very important. So, you know, um, I don't know. We'll have to wait and, and see what happens. I think he is going to – Sterling doesn't need any more money. No. Okay? No. He doesn't need any more money. Mm-hmm. So selling the team is not going to do anything for him. Nope. No. Unless he's going to get something out of this. And, and it's got to be more than money. And it, it, yeah, I mean, what what else do you want? I, I don't know. It's got to be something more than money. Something else. He's he still should taking just pick out. His his um his mistresses a little better. First, he doesn't he even said, realize that he's doing it with a black girl. I mean, she's part yeah. black. <laughs> they weren't. That's she, hysterical. Uh, uh, Come on, stop it. Stop. <laughs> Both of them. Mm-hmm. She she and Arnold doesn't have another child out of wedlock. He does. Yeah. Okay. And okay. so so that was Sterling, a stupid move. Sterling oh, was yeah. going up okay. in it. Okay. With that, oh. you can't do that. I know. I didn't say anything wrong. You, I, I understand. <laughs> that you're right. Wrong. You can't. Okay. Isn't there's no FCC? I understand that. Okay. Okay. I didn't say any bad words. I I, I get it. Okay. <laughs> Some people may get offended. Okay. okay. They probably won't know what it meant. Oh. Yeah, they pretty much. I'm I, I'm sure they did. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, <laughs> Sterling's the girl who was a waitress. Uh oh. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> there it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, the girl who was a waitress. Yeah. She claims that the two were not romantically inclined. She's lying. Oh. Can you pot that down? Uh, Oh. Well, we just word that I can pot everybody. Well, <laughs> that in and of <sighs> itself, we might as well just talk about that because you know what? Um, that's that's pretty good, mm-hmm. okay? I mean, that's that's got to make the school very, very happy. Yeah. To get a full six-year accreditation. Yep. They're WASP certified. From WASP. Hmm. And they're magical. And they're magical. That was pretty good. That is, that's that's excellent. Good. I'm sure he is it's floating a party, the, it's cloud a party nine in right the, now. in the offices right now. Mm-hmm. You know there is. So oh, yeah. There's no champagne, though. But I'm sure that they're... There's a party. Yeah. Mark that Nelly's. Yep. That that's was a awesome. Lot, that was a lot of hard work. It was. A lot of hard work um, that they did, so that's really good. Because mm-hmm. one of the schools that I happen to know that, uh, well, not a lot of schools get that. Let's yeah. just say that, okay? Yeah. Um, you know, and, and, and if you were just to get two, that would be a great thing. But he got okay. the full, Six the full years? load. Yep. Yeah, that's a really, that's, that's a big deal. Mm-hmm. Okay, and they had to come interrupt our radio show to tell us. <laughs> right. Thank you very much. I'll be yeah. happy chat with them yeah Yeah. you know Um, they they forgot all about us honey they got that wasp they were happy yeah i look at i think i see somebody jumping yeah that was (laughs) yeah yeah i see that too out the window from our 12th floor penthouse yes Yes. did you see the accident uh at the ringling brothers barn yes first of all who wants to hang from their hair 40 feet up i don't know that's my first question i don't know okay Because you got to be an idiot doing that, okay? Well, I don't but, know how you grab it. Like that's crazy. Well, they're 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 pulling off that tangled bends, you know. What tangled? Oh, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're hanging. But the, the way they fell, it looked like it was part of the re- the act. Yeah. Because they fell just so smoothly. <laughs> <laughs> um, the fall it, was it, just so smooth. Yeah, it was smooth because it must have been a steel cable that broke. Yeah. 
I was terrible. Watch, I was watching uh, Mythbusters last night, and they were trying to they somebody wrapped someone up in bubble wrap, and they uh, they tried. To, uh, they said they dropped them thirty feet, uh-huh. and they were fine, just wrapped in bubble wrap. And when they put the dummy up there and dropped it, it was like seventy G's, and you should yeah you can't go over ten G's. So yeah, that's all I kept thinking about as I was watching those guys. 70 G's from how high? 30, 35 30, feet. 30, yeah. 35 feet. Really? Mm-hmm. Did you watch that one too? No, I Buster? didn't watch that one. But Angie knew the 35 feet. Yeah. But that means, it, so from, but 70 G's, that, you mean every, that would break every bone in your body? Mm-hmm. From yeah. 35 feet? Yeah. I mean, I just remember growing fall. up in New York and people would commit suicide jumping off the buildings, off the apartment buildings, and they were only, they were only 15 stories. And they were, it was nothing. Yeah, but we're talking two and a half stories here. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I'm just saying. I didn't, I, I didn't think two and a half stories would kill you. Yeah. Yeah, that's why they catch the babies when they fall out the window. That happened in Burbank. Happened in New York. What, what are you talking about in New York? That happened in New York? <laughs> yeah. Good, I got the face. What? Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, I didn't know it happened in New York. Yeah. I only saw that one story in Burbank. all the time in New York. People are throwing their babies out the window? No, people are idiots and they don't put the right, you know, bars or something on their windows. And, the, and there's a dresser and the kid climbs up the dresser and now all of a sudden they're hanging outside and people are catching them. Uh, okay. If you turn from other than Fox, oh. you'll learn some you stuff. Know, I don't always watch, you know, in fact, I very rarely No, come on, last Fox. week you, were, you had to admit it. You watched Fox. No, I didn't admit it. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Play it back, Sam. Yeah, re- you know what? Yeah, play a soundbite from last week's show. I did not admit it. I said, <sighs> no, in fact, last week I said I, I rarely watch Fox. No, you were commenting on something that you saw on Fa- Fox. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, but a lot of the time, it's <laughs> not watching. Yeah, it's not on TV. It, it's not on TV. <laughs> it, it's, it's my Fox app on my phone. <laughs> it's the same thing. It is. No, it's different. It's, it's written. It's the same thing. It, it's written. It's the same propaganda. Okay. Uh, it's the you same know, fakeness. All media has a propaganda. Not us. All right. Because I keep yeah. it real. All, all, oh. all media does. No. Um, over the weekend, there were a lot of events happening mm-hmm. in the Yellow Valley. Um, and you watch. I found it interesting because you watch the candidates rolling out because they have to be seen in a lot of these yeah. events yeah. okay as we get close to the primary the poor schmuck that's painting his garage a new color okay there'll be candidates at that house too yeah yeah um little by little there i should have invited them to my my get my grandkids party a couple of them may have shown up yeah, yeah. okay mm-hmm. not all yeah. but maybe one or two the good kind N- i don't know about that okay i don't know about that you don't know if the good I, kind would have came? I, I don't know about that. Oh, uh, you know, we've got to start. A lot of candidates are reaching out saying, hey, I want to come on the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, we need to do some campaigning. And little by little, as you start watching this going on, uh, direct mail pieces are going to hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, ads are on TV. Ads are on the radio. Yeah, I finally saw my first uh, Lee Rogers commercial. Oh, wow. I haven't seen one of those. Yeah. On Time what Warner? What channel was it? Yeah, on Time Warner. Oh, oh. what were we watching? Was it good? It was, yeah, it was nice. It, yeah. I mean, as good as a political commercial can be. I, I know from talking to... Well it's all the same. It's grass. There's a kid. Uh-huh. He's running. He's holding his wife's hand. <laughs> Wait, have you seen this commercial? No, that's all political commercials. Oh, and a puppy. Sometimes a puppy. a puppy. Sometimes a puppy. a puppy. And children. Yeah. Okay. I, I know they had just finished that commercial. Um... What is it? With so that? it must have just started. I mean, people, you know, our heads don't screw off anymore. We actually, you know, give us some time and we'll look you up. The grass is not selling it all the time. Ways to reach the voters. Top two. What do you think the top two ways are to reach voters? Uh, get your message out. Speak your mind. No, what form of media? Oh, oh, um, I would say Twitter, um, Facebook. And us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A- actually, radio is up there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's definitely up there in the yeah. top three. Yeah. The number one way, the number one way today mm-hmm. to reach the voters mm-hmm. is direct mail. Hmm. Really? It is the number one way. And here's the thing. Because they're all the old, the old people. No. No. Now, this is what's interesting. But in this election right now, 
you're going to see that about 65 to 70 percent of the vote votes are all going to be early mail-in ballots and they okay? need to stop doing that and in order to capture that audience you need direct mail yeah okay yeah that that's what you need to do yeah all right but don't do it people hold out social media is important yeah. radio is very important television is lower lowest on the list really? because they're all, all the oh. commercials look the same and you tivo on that and also because there are so many different options that you'd be putting so much money into television mm. to try to capture it all yeah okay Okay. Yeah. From the AT and T Uverse to Direct to Dish TV to Time Warner to everything that everybody's watching, mm -hmm. it'd be very, very difficult. Yep. Yep. And if you throw all your money into that, then you are not going to put your money in the number one news talk radio program in the Antelope Valley. There you go. Yeah. And you know you got to be there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. And we will have spots running uh, from a number of them shortly. Yeah. All right. The, that have all reached out and said, "Hey, we got to run some spots on your show." All right, so so we'll have that, and uh, and then direct mail, yeah, is very important. But people are going to fill out ballots, and they're going to mail those in oh, well that. in advance. I hate that. Well, I mean, look what happened in Lancaster with Jonathan uh, Irving. Irving. Yeah, okay, that, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, and it would have been a different scenario if all those early voters wouldn't have sent in their mail. I mean, he killed it in the polls. He killed it. Okay, mm -hmm. number one, mm -hmm. killed it in the polls. And then when it came to the mail-in ballots, it just killed them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely killed them. Yeah. So it goes to show that that direct mail piece, that stuff going out, yeah, there's, really there's makes a, a difference. Yeah, there's a large portion of people that still use that. Yeah. I, I got a ballot in the mail. I got one in the mail. I don't. I like, I like I going don't. in there. I like going in and vote. I, I like going in, too. Yeah. Yeah, just like I like going into a store. I, I don't buy stuff from Amazon. Hmm. Oh, I love. I gotta it. go in. I gotta I touch love it. Yeah, I have online. to. I have to have immediate gratification. Yeah, oh, yeah, I do too. No, I like to have what's coming today. <laughs> yeah, that's a sickness. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you gotta work on it. They have a twelve-step group for that. that, that oh, is a I sickness. don't want to go. I don't want to fix okay. it. I you, just want more money. You break yeah. out in goosebumps when you walk up to the front door and there's a box out there. Oh my goodness! And let them be big boxes, or let me forget that I ordered yeah, something. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, love you know, it. You know, we're out of time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Here we are. So we got to go. Oh. So this is the end of our broadcast. Yep. All right. Thanks for making us the number one news talk radio program in the Antelope Valley. You're listening to AV Newscast. Have a great day. We'll be back tomorrow.